For this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. So with that being said, to get to the pen tool in Photoshop, you want to go over to the left side where all the tools are and near the bottom, you will see the pen tool icon. You can either press P or you can right click in here and this will bring up all of the pen tool options. We we'll want to get ourselves the regular pen tool. So to use the pen tool, it's really simple. If you left click once, you get yourself a point. So this is point A. If you left click again somewhere else on this area, you get yourself point B. Now, before we do anything else, I feel like it's important to talk about the path options. So if you go to the gear icon right at the top and you will left click in here, this will bring you to the path options. So if you wanted to, you can change the thickness to something much thinner or something much thicker if you wanted to. You can also change the color, making it easier for you to see the outline. And of course, the very last option that you have available is rubber band. So for example, if we have this enabled, you will see that this will now give you a preview of what it's going to look like before you even create that point. But personally, I don't really use this. So if you wanted to, you can just untick this and have it as normal. An example where we have a shape mixed in with the background and we wanted to separate the shape from the background. We would simply, same as last time, get ourselves the very first point and it doesn't really matter where you start, but as long as you start on a corner. So for example, we're gonna start right about here and you want to go all the way around selecting the edges. So once again, you want to get yourself point B which is going to be in this corner. You then want to get yourself another point right here and then just keep going all the way around, selecting the edges. Now, once you've selected your shape, you also want to go all the way around and back to the very last one or the first one that you created. So as you can see, if you hover over the first one, it will give you this circle icon. And what this means is once you left click, it will now connect this up and it has become a path. So this is a single path that has been connected up together. And from here, we can either create ourselves a selection, a mask, or even a shape if we wanted to. So let's say that we're going to create ourselves the shape. We would, first of all, make sure that we are selecting the layer itself, and then go ahead and press the mask button. And as you can see, we have now separated this shape from the background and if we wanted to we can always re-edit this as long as you are selecting the pen tool here is another example you would same as last time go ahead and start either at the bottom or the top it doesn't really matter as long as you get yourself the first point and this time you want to have a look at your image and let's say we're going to create point b right about here now instead of it just left clicking this time you want to left click and then drag this out and this will allow you to bend the path onto this selection. Now one thing about the pen tool is that once you've created yourself the very first curve and you go to left click again you will notice it will copy the first curve onto the second. So as you can see it has made it very flawless going from this curve onto the second. Sometimes it can be quite annoying because as you can see it's not exactly got it on the line. So that is what we don't want it to do. And to fix this, all you have to do is press Control or Command and Z to undo. And then you want to hold Alt or Option key. And then when the icon pops up, left click on here, and this will remove that second line. And this means that we can now either create ourselves a straight line if we wanted to, or we can even get ourselves a selection but this time we can continue on being on this specific line. So as you can see, right about here is where the line is. And same as last time, you want to hold Alt or Option key and then left click on here. So once again, get ourselves the very last one and you want to give this one a slight little curve, just like so. And once again, we want to go all the way around. And once again, you go to mask and there you go. Now, a cool little trick for the pen tool is that you can use it to snap on to a certain angle. If you got yourself a point in the middle right here, you would hold shift 
and then left click. And as you can see, without having to mess around, we have now got ourselves a perfectly straight line going up. We can do this for 45. We can also do it to zero degrees. And of course, we can go all the way around selecting these certain angles. Now, here is another example. Let's say that you've got yourself a shape like this, which has got both a curve and straight lines. You would, same as last time, get yourself the first point right about here. You can start at the top or at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. But then you want to go to the end of the curve, which is right about here. And once again, you want to left click and drag this out to make this a curve. Now, here's where we can put our shortcut into practice. So you remember how I told you about the shift key allowing you to snap it on? Well, if you hold shift, you can see we can snap it on to zero. And this will allow us to create this line right here. So as you can see, this has nicely made the curve onto the path. So from here, we would once again hold Alt and then left click on here. And once again, we would hold Shift and then left click on here. And this has made it directly going up 90 degrees. So once again, you would hold Shift and then left click. And there you go. For the very last one, let's say you've got yourself a circle. You want to first of all, change the thickness to 0 0.5. And we're going to start at 12 o'clock. We're going to create ourselves a point at 1 o'clock. And then of course, one at three o'clock. So you want to follow the same pattern to create yourself a eight segment circle. Once you get to the very last one, you want to connect it all up and we're going to go to selection. In here, you want to set the feather radius to five, have it on anti-aliased, new selection, and go ahead and press okay. And if you go over to the mask button right down here, you will now see that this has got a nice soft edge. But if you go back into selection, Go in here and set it to zero, press OK, go back to the mask button, you will notice the edges are nice and hard. So same goes for if you've got yourself another selection on top of your current one, you would have the options to add, subtract and interselect. Another important thing to know about the pen tool is that if you've got yourself a path, so let's say you've got yourself path A over here, and you needed to get yourself a separate path from the first one and let's say it was somewhere over here. Now, if you was to make a selection, it will only select the previous path that you had selected. If you press Ctrl and D to deselect it, and you get yourself a mask, it will mask them both out. Same goes for the shape. If you click on shape, it will turn them both into a shape. So you need to keep in mind that if you're wanting to select both of them at the same time, you can go over to the paths and then in here you can press and hold control or command and then left click on here and this will turn them both or all of your paths into a selection. Let's say that you accidentally made these disappear or you continued on working on your project and you created yourself, let's say, a shape somewhere else. You'll notice that the path is now disappeared. Well, don't worry about it. You can always bring it back just by going over to the paths. And in here, you can see you have your work path that you've been working on. All right, so, so far we've had a look at how to create our self selections and how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. But did you know you can also use the pen tool to create yourself custom shapes and custom lines? So if you go back into the pen tool and you go right at the top where it says path, in here, it will show you the different types of modes that you have available. So if you get yourself the shape selected, if you was to left click and get yourself a path, you would create yourself the shape by going all the way around, connecting it all up. So for example, let's say that we wanted to get ourselves a nice blue color, or you wanted something like a black color, you can just easily fill it in with these options right here. The cool thing about this is you can also get yourself a gradient by swapping over to this one right here. And you can also get yourself a pattern if you wanted to. And this will fill in your shape. So we're just gonna stick with a nice plain black color. 
And let's say that we wanted to also add ourselves a border and we wanted an outline. We can go over to the stroke and then in here we can set it to something like a white color or any other color that you want. But at the moment, it's not really going to be visible until we start to increase the width of it. So as you can see, we now have the shape right here with a stroke. If you didn't want the stroke, you can also go onto here and then turn it off. Same goes for the fill. You can just remove the fill. On the topic of auto add slash delete, you can also delete certain points if you didn't want your shape to look a certain way. So for example, if we didn't want this top one right here, all you have to do is hover over it and then left click on here and this will just delete that specific point. Same goes for if you wanted to re-add yourself another point, you can just hover over the line, left click on here and there you go. You've got yourself an extra line or extra dot. Now, once again, we're going to use the shortcut to directly select this specific point right here because if you normally left click, it will just do this. So as you can see, it will extend your selection, but it'll do it in a very weird way. So what we can do is we can hold control or command and then left click on here and you can let go of control. And there we go. We can now extend this shape. Now let's say that you didn't want to have this specific curve right here and you wanted it to be nice and straight. You can do this by holding Alt or Option key and then left clicking on here and this will fix it back to a straight line. And then of course, the very last thing that we are going to talk about is using the pen tool to create yourself a custom line. So you want to go over to the pen tool. In the mode, you wanna make sure it's set to shape. You want to get yourself a stroke color of any color that you want. I'm just gonna pick a black color and you want to set the width of it to something like 40 pixels so it's more noticeable. You then want to create yourself the path. And as you can see, once we've created ourselves the path, this will then create ourselves the line. With this line, you can also go into the path or the stroke options right at the top. And you could change it to any other template, for example, the marching ants where there's gaps in between. You can change it to the dots, but we're just going to stick with the normal continuous line. Underneath the options right at the top, you also have the main three, which are the alignment, the caps, and of course the corners. So for example, if you go into the alignment, this will give you the option to change it to the inside. If you want it on the inside, you can change it to the outside or you can have it in the center where it will equally have it on both sides. The caps is all to do with the corners of it. So if you want it rounded off, you can change it to the one that's round. Or if you just want it a square, it will extend it out a little bit more than normal. And then the very last one is all to do with the corners. And what I mean by this is if you've got yourself a corner, like let's say we've selected this one right here and we've got ourselves another area and you've got yourself the corner right there. If you go into the options, you can change it to something rounded off or you can change it to this one right here. One last thing is if you're using this one right here with the dots, you can go into the more options and in here you can actually change the gaps in between. So for example, if you want to change it to something like six, you will notice this will make them much more longer. You can also change the gap distance to something like four if you wanted them more spread apart. You can also mix and match and add your own different patterns right here. You can see it changes it so it's not exactly the same. You can change it to long lines. It gets to a little bit smaller. Then we have a big gap. You can just randomize it in here if you wanted to. And of course, if you didn't want to, just set it to zero or just completely get rid of it. Same as last time, you have your alignment, you have your caps, and you've got yourself your corners. So the cool thing about this is that you can even create yourself a custom template. You can save it and it will be right in here if you want to use it for next time. And that is pretty much it. That is how you use 
the pen tool to create yourself a custom line and the pen tool in general.